Hey everyone, it's time for the veto competition. Woo! Get ready and race to the backyard. Coach Nicole. So I walk out in the backyard and it brings me back to my college days. We got the track lanes, we got sideways hurdles. I feel like I can be an Olympic hero in this comp. Victor here, number four for the win. I have a title. Number one. Let's go! Woo! Welcome to the second annual Ready, Set, Whoa track meet. Applause. Woo! This competition will be run in five races. At the start of each race, you will hold down the two buttons at the starting line with your hands. Each race will begin when the words ready, set, appear in the monitor at the end of your lane. When you see the word go, you must race down the track and hit any one of your finish buttons. The house guest who hits a finish button last will be eliminated from this competition. Choose carefully because after you use the finish button, it'll be out of play for later races. Be warned, there are decoy words that will appear on the monitors. And if you release either of the start buttons before you see the word go, that's a false start and you will be eliminated. After each elimination, you will get back into your starting position and the next race will begin. The last player standing will win the golden power of the show. Woo! Who's ready to play? Ready, set, whoa! There's a lot on the line for this veto competition. Paul and I came up with this plan to put me on the block, have me pull myself down. Worst case scenario is somebody else wins the veto, decides not to use it, and I'm still sitting on that block come Thursday. And I can't let that happen. Let's do this. I really need to win this veto. I'm on the block again this week. They say Davon's the target and that I'm just a pawn, but you never know in this game. It's time for race one. Players, take your mark. Really, all that needs to happen in this competition is that either I win or Polly wins, and we can pull him off the block. The one thing that can happen is Bridget win this competition. Remember, don't let go until you see go. Like the concentration. I have the tiger. You have to have a really high attention span to win this competition because you never know when the word go is going to pop up on the screen. All these words are rhyming with go. It's, you know, throw and crow, and they're trying to be tricky, but um, I wouldn't state and track my senior year. All I want to do is just show off my running skills and just crush it today. Damn it, bro. <laughs> God. Corey prematurely crosses his line, and I'm getting the feeling that Coach Nicole over there saw that one coming. It's just like something my ex-lovers would say. Damn, that was fast. <laughs> he prematured. Story of my life. is having to wait for these words to pop up on the screen. My knee's aching. I just want to hit my button, save my button win. Solo, so, 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 solo, so, so, solo, so, so. Tell me the word go, just show me, show me. Bridget, you were last to finish 
Sebastian, you've All been right. eliminated. So I'm the last to hit my button. Hopefully Polly can win this, pull himself off the block, and force Paul to replace his nominee with a bigger target, like Devon. It's time for race three. Take your positions. It's round three, and I'm super tired, and my head's kind of in the clouds right now. All of a sudden, ready, set, whoa, go. And I'm like, oh my god, I really have to go! Let's take a quick look at that replay. I'm sorry, Natalie, you are last to finish and have been eliminated. I really want to win a comp. It's down to Victor, Polly, and Paul for the golden power of veto. So it's down to Paul, Victor, and myself and I have all the confidence in the world that they'll pull me down. However, they're not the ones with the butt on the line, so I want to win this thing and pull myself down. <laughs> it's the gardening tool. <laughs> I'm waiting for go to pop up, and my hands are starting to cramp up. I'm shaking. I'm not feeling good right now. Do you? Who's a female do you? I'm trying to get my head in the game, but what can I say? Your boy likes the sound of music. Judge me if you will, but it's one of the greatest musicals of all time. We're checking the tape. I'm sorry, Paul. You were last to finish and have been eliminated. Good job, Paul. Your boy gets eliminated. I'm rooting for Polly to win. Sound of Music did not help me win this round, but you're still the greatest musical of all time. All right, racers, it's down to the final race. It's between Victor and Polly for the golden power of veto. Victor's been running around the house calling himself a competition beast. He's even wearing pigtails, which lets me know he's super confident. However, I am the one who's on the block. So here it is, homeboy, mano y mano. All right, racers, take your positions. At this point, it's just me and Polly. It's all or nothing on this one. We're buddies, but here we go. Bad. No. How many times I've had sex in this house? Zero. Look what came crawling back around my neck. The golden power of Vito. And now, we put Devon up, and if I have anything to say about it, she'll be going home. The PP plan is being perfectly executed. Great job, man. Polly wins the veto, and while I'd love to have it myself, this isn't that bad. He'll pull himself off the block, and hopefully Paul follows through on his promise to put Devon up next to me. Good job, Vic. Give everyone Thanks, a thumbs Mitch. up. Polly's definitely gonna take herself off the block. Maybe we can get Nicole on the block. I need this chick up there with Bridget this week. I want her out of this house. What's that spell? Friendship! What's that spell? Friendship! What's that spell? Friendship! Oh. Uh. Uh.